Lava and Golden Band. Figure it out. <laughs> there we go. Finally. I'm having problems loading in. Oh, this is awesome. Mistake. I should have uh, used a heavier deck. No, oh, this is going to be such a pain. I should have nadoed that to the King Tower. That was an idiot play of me. Nah, right. I'm just playing bad. I don't like 2v2 and. Uh, just please keep flipping. Uh, wow! I've never seen that before. Where my clone didn't hit the <clears throat> skelly barrel. Because it's in the process of dying. That's just weird. Wrong deck. I don't want to play that deck. <sighs> I shake up the NATO. That was bad. Oh well. I'm just panicking. I just want to play these games and people are being difficult. It's really, really frustrating.
Oh, this is painful to do. And why do I load in so late compared to everyone else? Go big or go home, boys. Them throwing that, um, roller in the right hand lane really cost them. But you know what? I'm gonna play right into it. I don't care about the opposite side. Zap by them. Flex to flip them off, but fuck. Whatever, I, I don't know. I'll just shut up. <laughs> ah, that's why he wanted log band, is because he's gonna play bait. Just give away your secrets, man.
uh, next perk. Wait, didn't he ban log? Didn't he fucking ban log? Oh my god, Mendel. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Now with the Juice Barrel Boy doesn't matter because he banned Log and he's playing Log, so that means he automatically loses the game. Actually, I think it means he automatically loses the match. Like the outcome of this is in America, so he already cheated. He already he played a card that he banned, so. Don't use logs. <laughs> Watch, he's going to be using Pekka this time. Okay, it looks like he's using Golem, so we're a little bit, you know, safe there. If I see a P.E.K.K.A., I'm recording him. Like, <laughs> uh. What a weird deck. And those bats are going to retard it to the tower. I'm just going to eat them alive. Take them down to 369. Ouch. Oh, good arrows. Yay! 
Yeah, clone! <laughs> no, the snowball! <laughs> uh, damn, that sucks. That's what feels bad. Although, Mindel is up by two elixir, but he's taking so much damage on that left hand tower, it doesn't really matter! Uh, fucking oof, man! Which, you know, his last card's a Sparky. Uh... I don't know why I didn't arrow the Goblin, like the Goblin Gang, and just go in all, all in on that side. I think it was a misplay not to. Either you're gonna concede the tower and try and push for, you know, the win, or you don't do it at all. I don't know what the plan was there. Snowball's gonna come down and take that out. Oh, minions, actually. Yeah, there's no way Mendel wins here now. Fireball's gonna come down and just gonna wipe it all out. with the punts! <laughs> oh, you man, but ouch, that's a painful blotch. I jumped. Yeah, knew that last card was Sparky. I've been seeing this garbage fire of a deck everywhere. No cancer.
Oh, uh, you just dropped a follow. Thank you, Tunis Ham. I'm sorry if it's not that entertaining. But, yeah, we're trying to get this all sorted out right now. Hi, man. How's it going? I mean, that works for me. Even though that's not what I said in Discord, but you know what? Sure. Anyways, uh, I'm actually gonna add the blockers here, so you can't see their elixir, but how's it going, Dunez Ham? Anyways, it's gonna be Demos, uh, our member from Pantheon up the top, versus their member from <clears throat> Prime Esports. Now, that is a mighty aggressive push that early in the game. Ice was are gonna turn the opposite way, shoot down the wrong people. And that's going to be a massive push for Prime Esports there. The most might go down on the first game of King of the Hill. Which would be, be quite unfortunate. I suppose it's going to get a little bit of chub, but it's not that big a deal. Goblin Giant going to come down. It's the Goblin Giant bait deck that everyone's been having to deal with. Uh, well, where do you think, man? <laughs> that, don't you see what it says right there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be a little bit, you know trolley in that response to anyone that asks that ever. Is that gonna come down? Wipe out those minions, but Balloon Freeze coming out for Demos. There's gonna be a lull in the gameplay as both people decide what they want to do. Yeah. Goblin Giant coming in. Bats coming in. Goblin Giant gonna make it to the tower. That that one bat's gonna take out the Ice Wizard. And that's gonna be a decent push for I've been. Garble gonna come down, kill that Mega Minion. Push that balloon back. You Pirate T Series Beautify, tough. Easy clap. Snowball and minions gonna come down, gonna take out that push. Now we got a tornado to the mire to the tower. That's good news. Although he really needed to do that sooner in the game here. He's gonna need to drop that zap on those bats or else that LJ's gonna go down. Goblin Giant's gonna get one hit off. Valkyrie's gonna come down. Minion's gonna take out that Valkyrie since he has nothing to defend it. Miner coming in. Mega Minion coming down on the Miner. It's gonna put that tower down to low 200. Fireball's gonna come and take out the tower, and Mega Minion's gonna go down here. Now he's down a tower, and he has to get one of the towers here. Fireball's out of cycle. He might be able to get it here. Minion's gonna come down, and that's just gonna be GG. You need to freeze some minions there and knock the tower. Either way. Pantheon, uh, Prime Esports is going to pick up the W there, unfortunately. He didn't even have to use a Sparky. Unfortunate news for us. So, I'm going to be up. Now. I'm debating what deck I want to play. We're gonna go with this. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I was supposed to be going next. Spindle Dry, Texas. Okay. Okay, yeah, you did fix on up. Uh, you know, Spindle Dry. I like how they're saying they're saying best for last, but so are we. We're saving me. Okay, Mendel picks the lineup, so Mendel's gonna come in here. He's going against that Sparky deck again. And hopefully we can pick up this W here. I believe in you, Mendel. Oh, that Sparky's just gonna shred through everything. Snowball coming in. I'll push it back. And... Ooh, Sparky does not get a shot off. That was so close. I'm from Malaysia. Well, that's cool, man. 
Uh, you play Clash Royale much? All right, Bandit gonna come down for Mendel in the back here. Slow Bandit creeping up. And Minion's gonna come down, gonna be able to easily clean up that Bandit without her getting a dash off. Bogo's coming down. Minions are gonna get a little bit of chip damage here. Um, Sparky coming down, gonna be able to soak up that Royal Ghost pretty easily here. He's probably gonna... No. And what brings you to the stream, man? Sparky's going to be ticked down to about half health here. And we're going to see what Mindle here does. He was getting dropped right on top. That is going to be helpful to stop the Sparky, but that is going to allow a Goblin Giant push in the opposite lane. Let's hope he has that Zap up for those bats. Zap comes down. He misses a bat. Oh, that bat's going to linger and just tick away at his P.E.K.K.A. here. Unfortunately. Bat finally dies to the tower. Uh, Minion's coming down to kill that Miner. Back are gonna die to those goblin to that goblin gang. Miner gets one hit off on the battle ram. Fireball coming down, stopping the battle ram in place, and bats and that spear gob in the tower are gonna clear up that battle ram. Now we're heading into overtime here shortly, here in 30 seconds. Royal Ghost gonna get easily uh, tanked up by that royal by that goblin giant. Miner and minions coming in opposite side. Poison coming down, gonna take out everything, just let that miner chip away, no one gives a damn. And Minion's gonna come down, it's just a little extra insurance. Sparky coming down against that Pekka, rightfully so. Uh, Battle Ram, Bandit, Minions, all coming down the left hand lane, can it get to the tower? Gets to the tower, can he get the win here? Bandit, Barbarians, and that's GG, Mendel picked up the win, going on to our next game. Attaboy Mendel. I'm proud of you. That was a good game. <sighs> Mendel's now going to be up against Super Saiyan in our round two, or round three. Mendel, wow! Oh, you gotta leave, man. Now we're waiting on Mindle to come back so he can play his second match. Uh, Gamos, our beloved member from Styx, wound up losing his game one, which is unfortunate for that Sparky bait bag. Now we're just waiting for Mindle to come back to do his game. Gonna ping him just to make sure.
There we go, Mendel's finally back. <laughs> if they mentioned pancakes, might as well do the pancakes emote. Anyways, hopefully Mendel can get this win here. I had to ping him on Discord just to make sure. <laughs> uh. Anyways, Royal Ghost. Oh, Split Pats and Royal All come in. He was going to be able to clean that up with nicely with those minions. Um, and it's going to come in. She's going to charge down that Ice Golem. And hopefully this Royal Ghost and that Bandit can tank up that push. Battle Ram going to go opposite lane. Not sure if that's the right play or not. Especially not with the delayed zap. But it's going to work out. Barbarians are going to make it to the tower. And that's going to be a free thousand damage while he's out of Elixir. Here. Now. He's just going to tower shift away at that ice cone. And Mindel's going to be able to do Elixir up here. And we're going to see him coming back in here. Gorilla Ghost coming in. And odds are it's going to be tanked by Mini Pekka. Yep. And it's going to come down and he has no answer to the minions. So minions are going to melt that Mini Pekka. Oh, Princess coming down. Poison on the Princess just to get rid of that little darling. Because she can be quite the pain. And we're just going to see a small reset here. Mendel's probably going to be the aggressor. Nope. In comes uh, Super Saiyan with Royal Hogs and a Goblin Gang. Um, I really wish he had e -Wiz there instead of zapping. That would have helped a lot on keeping that P.E.K.K.A alive. But P.E.K.K.A going to go down to about half health here. And Tower's going to go down to 1750. Mendel's still going to have a lead on both Towers. But this P.E.K.K.A is going to be tanked up pretty easily here. He's going to be leashed by that Ice Golem. I don't know where his zap is or why it's not coming in, but absolutely getting his push destroyed because he's not playing anything. Not playing his zap. Oh, that's right. He's out of cycle because he goofed. Either way, he's going to take that tower down to 927. And hopefully this e and this minion will be able to take it out, but Pekka going to take down the battle ramp. And hopefully they can get in and kill that mini Pekka before it kills that other barbarian. Unfortunately not. Uh... He was is going to get a few hits off at, for half damage. Um, <clears throat> Pekka and World Ghost coming in, trying to take out as much of those Hoglets as it can. He was even coming down. Princess going down opposite lane. Probably need to poison that. Fireball's going to take out the He was and the Royal Ghost there. Good place, Ice Golem. Oh, Bandit does not dash. Now. Battle Ram coming in. Battle Ram is going to connect, and that's going to be GG here. Mendel putting in some work from out of nowhere with Pekka Bridge Camp, picking up two W's and our road to victory. Fake is next. That's why I don't miss. Thanks, Billy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, yeah, we're... Appreciate it, my friend. You're so great and kind to me, clearly. I'm oh, sorry, you're not even following me, fam. Why are you not following me? And Trainer Mendel is going to hop into it versus Lucio. Lucio's. Hopefully, Mendel will be able to pick up another win here. Only the best be. Yeah. Thanks. Your sarcasm is so appreciated, fam. 
Uh, you're not. Unless you changed your name of your account. Wait, what is Mingle doing? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's why he's facing the wrong person. It's supposed to be fake, not Lucio. <laughs> uh, yo, yo, that was my sister, totally. Uh, idiot. Also, Billy, what do you think? Bob Ross, the Dishonored Mask, and a painting. And the dragon painting. <laughs> Bob Ross is now part of my background. Uh, yeah, I was confused with what happened there, but yeah, the wrong person queued up because they're idiots! <laughs> Uh, hopefully middle can still pick up this W. And it's going opposite lane here. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a P.E.K.K.A. versus P.E.K.K.A. mirror matchup. No, it's R.G. Versus, uh, P.E.K.K.A. first round. And Fake's just gonna let a bandit just tick away at his... <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on here, guys? Yes, you can never go wrong with Bob Ross. That, why do you think it's uh, now part of my room? Instead of just staying over the shelf by, over there by himself. Yeah, I think uh, Mendel's just gonna lose here. You know, with the pack to try and wipe that out. Actually, maybe since it reverted to the barbs, it's gonna work out for him. But I'm expecting... Uh, what's going on? Have you... Yeah, I already got the new emo. Uh, Pantheon Esports is playing against... Um, Prime Esports. Uh, lyrical. So, our Esports team for Pantheon is playing against one of the, uh, got, we set up a scrim scrimmage versus another team. And so we're doing that right now. Uh, we're in the final phases of King of the Hill, uh, last man standing. So, pretty much the last person on who, whichever team that is standing, is the team that wins right now uh it is we are up two to one um and potentially about to be up three to one if mendel wins here uh, yeah that's what's going on and the reason i have the electro bar censored is just in case someone from the enemy team or on my team decides to watch the stream and i don't want people you know getting free knowledge of what's going on arrow's gonna come down he was soak up that bandit uh royal ghost gonna come in it's gonna take that tower i don't know why his opponent's just been letting him have free towers and everything but i'm not complaining now all Mendel has to do is just defend for 30 seconds here, and he'll will be able to pick up his W and send it to a 3-1 deficit in these final rounds. All right, I'm coming down opposite lane. Ewa is coming down to soak that up, and it going to be going down left lane, going to get a dash off, and with Valram to follow up, Bandit stalling, and dash on the Bandit. Man, going to die, and Mendel's going to pick up another win here, and put us to three and one. He, if he gets this next win, he will clean sweep the enemy team for us just by himself. 
And I put myself last in the order, so that I could, you know, if something happened to the rest of our guys and they couldn't hold it up, then I could come in and have a little bit of knowledge. Last player is Lucio versus Trainer Mendel. Let's go, Mendel. One more, man. You can do it, I believe. Here, let me just click friendly battle here just so I can screw him over. That's twice they've done that. <laughs> he pulled the Lucio. <laughs> Because Lucio did that a minute ago. Texas have your dude change his deck. He can play whatever he wants, so I don't own him. It's not my job to tell him what to play. If he wants to keep playing Pekka Bridge Spam, who am I to argue? <laughs> sure, it means that there's more likely that his opponents will counter him, but... <laughs> He's not switching. <laughs> oh my god, the cojones on this pad. Uh, it's gonna be Lumberjack Balloon Freeze coming out. It's gonna be uh, a little bit of a bitch. To say the least. Petty Drag is going to take out those minions, and we're probably going to see a graveyard or a balloon come in here. Huh, maybe not. Ooh, E Drag. This is why I like lightning. Ooh, good NATO here. Oh, that. Electric Dragon is going to take a lot of damage and wind up dying to that poison from staying in the whole time because of that Royal Ghost being native to the tower. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out what Lucio's deck is. I can't tell if it's Golem. That's right. It's a Golem deck. Golem NATO. Um, so his last card should be Poison. Which he, I expect him to play here. Yep. That, however, will put Mendel in the driver's seat. Um, however, that e drag is going to be a bit of a nuisance here. I would have liked to see a poison out of him there on that e drag, but fine. He's still going to get some chip damage. Uh, however, he's going to come down. going to easily kill that e drag after they take a shot, which means they are one shot to tower, which one, two, and three no hits. Oh, I'm finally gonna come down while he has an elixir lead on Mendel by about three. Mendel gonna leak a little bit of elixir here. Not looking good for him. I disagree with the bandit play here. And the battle ram in opposite lane. Although that does make it where he his opponent has to deal with it and but if he can get back to his golem and cycle back, then this could be a little bit rough for him. Oh, that good NATO there coming in. Gonna knock that baby drag. Gonna knock those minions and everything back into the baby dragon. And that's gonna be a tower down from Mendel here. And that's gonna be GG, it appears. No way that he can really get back into this. I don't think that uh, going opposite lane there was quite the right play. But, like, either he should commit it to opposite lane. Or. Whatever. He shouldn't have waited. Try to wait. It's gonna send the match to three and two. What you gonna do? Oh, off the Sorry. Baseball. Yes. However. 
That's going to send us to our next player from Pantheon, Mr. Tryhard. Hopefully Tryhard can pick up this game, because that was right there on my back. <laughs> I know I can do it, but man, I don't want to. Anyway, it's going to be a slow start to this game here. I feel like both players are using heavy decks, these people here. Yeah, they're back. Uh, I think it's Golem versus Golem, so I'm not sure how this matchup will go. Oh no, it's a uh, Royal Giant versus Golem. I don't know why he poisoned on that side. He should poison on the other side. That way, he could uh, clip down the fire spirits. I guess it's fine since he has a Baron Barrel to use. But yeah, it's a uh, Royal Giant from Trihard and Golem out of uh, Lucio. Lucio coming back with the Golem deck that he just played in one uh, with. Uh, should make it where I can assume that he's probably going to play it as well versus me if Tryhard does happen to lose here. Although I think um, the matchup is slightly tilted in Lucio's favor, unfortunately enough. And unless Tryhard is running Lightning. Since he's running Lightning, the uh, match is actually in Tryhard's favor quite a bit. Because he has the Lightning for... Um, the uh, Electro Dragon and Baby D and Mega Minion. As long as he can make sure to hit um, the troops more than the towers, because troops are more important. Flip the towers when you need to, but overall you just kind of want to make sure that the support troops are dead. Now we know his last card's uh, Royal Giant. I don't know when he might drop that off, but we know that it will come down at some point. Mega Minion is going to, Fade Dragon is going to take out that Mega Minion casually. Barbarian Barrel and he is going to take out that Lumberjack. He was and Electro Dragon going toe to toe. Uh, he was going to take it out for the most part. E Drag going to die to the tower here. Oh, it's going to get one extra hit off more than I thought it would. Golem finally being dropped. We should probably see a Royal Giant opposite lane. And we do. One guard in the way of that Lumberjack. Barbarian Barrel coming down. He's going to try and kill that Barbarian, that Lumberjack as fast as he can. One shot. Two shot. And two shots out of the Royal Giant. Uh, poor Lightning coming down out of uh, Try Hard. I think that was a little bit of questionable Lightning here. I don't know if he's going to be able to pick up this win now. Hopefully that Mega Minion will pick up that Bibby Dragon. It does. Oh boy. Electro Wizard coming in. Golem going down finally. Lumberjack coming in versus that. E Wiz dying to the poison. He's going to need to drop some guards. Mega Minion going opposite lane here. Um, questionable at best. Um, going to be kited with those fire spirits. And I'm expecting to see a lightning on that E Drag, but I guess he's just going to reset. Try and get more lightning value out of his lightning. Now, I'd hope to see a lightning coming down soon versus those troops just trying to get everything going. Now, if you could slam a Royal Giant here at the first, that could be a good GG, but it, unfortunately, all of his troops are going to be blasted away. Royal Giant finally coming down opposite lane. Guards coming down. Baby Dragon and Lumberjack going to be tanking out that Royal Giant fairly quickly and those guards. He's going to get two shots off. Take that tower down to 779. And Mega Minion coming in. Baby Dragon going to chip away at that right tower, but who gives a shit? Uh, Golem coming down at the bridge. Time to rush opposite lane, but he's, like, stalling, freezing up. Finally, Royal Giant coming in. Where's the lightning? Where's the lightning? Come on. One shot. Two shots. Lightning will end the game here. Drop that lightning on that tower, and let's see that GG try hard. Let's -a go, boy! Picking up that W, and Pantheon will take it, take the set, two to one, with me and Tryhard still surviving.
And that's going to be all for you, boys. Girls. Pantheon is going to take it. And we're going to take that W. Right there, right now. Anyways, that's going to be all for my stream. This one's probably not going to be uploaded. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, guys. And I hope to see you on the next one. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you enjoy my channel and want to see more, don't forget to leave a subscription down below.